good to be in God's house. Yes, sir. Amen. We want to go to the Lord in prayer and pray for God's will for this service. Also, as we're praying, we want to just go ahead and take our needs to the Lord. Pray for Pastor and Sister Driscoll. I don't know if anybody's heard anything from him today. Anyway, he wasn't feeling well, so we prayed for him this morning. We're going to pray for him again tonight. Yeah. And uh, pray that God will keep his hand on them, bring them home safely. Yes. I'm leaving tonight after church, and so let's pray that the Lord will get me home safely. Amen. Amen. To uh, Chandler, Texas. And uh, God uh, knows all of our needs. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. We, uh, we want to pray for unspoken needs. I've got unspoken needs tonight. Amen. And uh, I know we prayed uh, for a couple of different ones this morning. Right now, I don't remember exactly what they were, but anybody want to? Uh, my, my niece, Victoria, my nephew, Michael, and my sister, Christella, all have COVID. And for the whole, my whole family, that they don't, it don't spread any further. Okay. Amen. Just remember that. Yes. Uh, pray for my son-in-law and my daughter and my grandkids, all my family. All right. Okay. Sister Wiley probably needs prayer. Amen. And Melissa. And Melissa. Amen. All right. Well, let's just go to the Lord right now. Can we do that? Lord Amen. Jesus, we love you. Jesus, in your mighty name. Lord. Thank you, Lord, that we can come God, we before the throne of grace. Lord, Jesus. that we can bring. In Jesus Our needs unto you, God, right Jesus now, knowing, Lord, that you're able. God, you are a healer. Lord Jesus, you paid the price by the stripes, Lord, upon your body, God. We claim healing tonight, Lord, for Brother Driscoll. Whatever that need may be, God, we're bringing it to you, Lord, right now, praying that you administer healing to him. In the name Jesus of Jesus, name of Sister Elizabeth's family, God, now you see this need, Lord, those that have COVID. We pray for a healing touch with them, Lord, that it would not spread any further, God. I pray, Lord, that it would stop right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, that healing virtue flow, God, that every need, Lord, the family need, God, back here. I pray in the name of Jesus, O oh God, that you would minister to that need. In the name of the Lord, keep your hand upon Brother and Sister Driscoll, Lord, throughout this trip. God, and bring them, Lord, safely back home, I pray. And God, as I drive home tonight, Lord, I pray, God, that you would keep me in your care. In the name of the Lord, God, it's your will that we seek. And we pray right now, Lord, that you would accept our praise, God. Hallelujah, Lord. We offer praise unto you, Lord, right now because of who you are. Lord, because you're worthy tonight. God, we want to lift our voices unto you. We want to give praise unto the Lamb of God because there is none else tonight. Lord, it is you and you alone, Lord, that is worthy to receive my praise. Lord and, my God. and we bless your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. We bless that name right now, that name that is above every name, that name that is exalted. Hallelujah. Oh, there's power in that name. There's healing in that name. There's deliverance in that name. God, and we exalt your name tonight. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord, we bless your name. We worship you. We exalt you. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Bless your people, Lord, tonight, I pray. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Minister. 
your God to every unspoken need, Lord. I pray in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, Lord. You know all about them, God. We give it to you tonight. In the name of Jesus. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Praise God. There's an old song that well, we don't sing it enough anymore. Amen. I, I hate that we have graduated. Hallelujah. From singing a lot of the older songs that uh, that uh, meant something. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Jesus. It just simply said, What? A friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and griefs to bear. What a privilege to carry everything to God. Thank <laughs> you. 
Thank you, Lord Jesus, for the gift and the giver. Amen. In Jesus' Jesus name. Praise God. Praise God. I'm going to go to the book of Acts. Acts chapter 2. chapter 2 verse number 37 
Now when they heard this, they were pricked in their heart and said unto Peter and to the rest of the apostles, men and brethren, what shall we do? Yes. Then Peter said unto them, repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost for the promise is unto you and to your children and to all that are far off even as many as the Lord our God shall call and with many other words did he testify and exhort saying Save yourselves from this untoward generation. Jesus. I think it's very interesting in verse number 40 that uh, you see something and I, and, I, and I know I know that this was uh, transcribed by humans I know it was typeset by humans, but I never had noticed it until today. Um, and with many other words did he testify and exhort, saying, and it goes back in mid-sentence and capitalizes save yourselves from this untoward generation. Like I say, I'm not making a big deal out of it. I just I just happen to notice it. Amen. You don't you don't see that in uh, sentence form that yes, happened. You know. Save yourselves from this untoward generation. God, talk to us for the next little while here. Talk to us, God. I want to say everything, Lord, that you want me to say. God, I want to help myself and I want to help your people tonight. I pray, God, that you put the words in my heart my mind and in my mouth, Lord, in the name of Jesus, for your will to be accomplished. And I thank you for it. In Jesus' name. Everybody say in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. You may be seated. God bless you. I'm thankful to be apostolic tonight. Amen. Yes. Amen. I am thankful to be apostolic Hallelujah. tonight. Jesus. Come on. Hallelujah. Jesus. Now I've got an Android phone. And uh, I'm the only one in the family <laughs> with an Android phone. My son tells me that I need to be apostolic. <laughs> I have not converted yet. Amen. <laughs> but I am happy to be apostolic. Amen. Tonight. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. It's a privilege tonight to know these scriptures and to know that I have obeyed Amen. these scriptures. Come on. Yes, sir. That I repented of my sins, and my sins were washed away oh, when I yes. was baptized in water Hallelujah. in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of my sins. Yes, come on. And God, Jesus. by his promise, he yes, gloriously filled me with a baptism Amen. of the Holy Ghost, Amen. with the evidence of speaking in other tongues. Yes, sir. And that got me in the kingdom. Yes. Amen. That did not 
save me. I'm still in the process of being saved tonight. But I want to be saved. Yeah. Hallelujah. I, I want to be saved more than anything else. I do want to hear the Lord say, well done, yeah. thy good and faithful servant. Oh. Amen. Yeah, that's right. But according to the ministry and the preaching of the Apostle Peter here, we still got some saving to do. Oh. Amen. Yes, sir. Right. Hallelujah. Now, I, I know it was precarious times that, that they lived in. I mean, they crucified the Christ. Uh -huh. Right? right? Mm -hmm. And the Apostle Peter told them at the end of his message when he says, and with many other words did he testify and exhort, saying, save yourselves from this untoward generation. Yes, sir. That applies to us in 2021. Yes. Yeah. And coming up on 2022, folks, uh -huh. we have a very untoward generation. Amen? Yes, sir. Jesus. Now, I've lived on this earth for 72 years. And I'm seeing things that I never thought would happen in my lifetime. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm hearing things that I never thought that I would hear in my lifetime. Amen. I'm seeing things take place in our country that I would have never thought that I would see take place. Uh -huh. Amen. I, I'm seeing people walk away from apostolic doctrine. Uh, Jesus. I'm seeing people that God had reached down into darkness and picked them up uh -huh. and brought them into his marvelous light. Uh, and they walked in that marvelous light for a while Amen. Amen. Come on. 
Like I said this morning, you don't just possess a soul. Yes, sir. You are a living soul. Amen. Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There are some eternal things in this building tonight. Every one that is breathing God's good air yes, sir. is a living soul Amen. in this place tonight. Amen.
Because the devil wants to destroy as many souls as he can. And because he's on a mission to destroy my soul. And because he's on a mission to destroy your soul. I've got to make up my mind. And you need to make up your mind. I'm going to save myself from this underwater generation. I'm going to walk the straight walk. I'm going to talk the way I need to talk. I'm going to do the things that I need to do. Because I want to save myself. I've got to save myself. nothing more important. Amen. You know, people spend billions and billions of dollars every year maintaining this temporary temple. Yes, sir. Amen. Vitamins. I take vitamins. That's okay. It's okay. Amen. Trying to eat right. Sometimes I fall off the wagon completely. I don't know if what I ate today at lunch was healthy for me, but it sure was good. <laughs> Amen. I didn't read the calorie intake. I didn't read how much sodium it had in it or how much how much carbohydrates was there or whatever. But you know, I better be careful about what I put in my soul. Amen. 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 Yes, sir. I, I better be careful about what I expose my soul to. Yes. Hallelujah. Jesus. Because I've got to be saved. Oh, yeah. I, I, I want to save my soul Jesus. tonight. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. But people spend billions of dollars a year trying to take care of this. Right. Trying to take care of the, of the flesh. Any time fitness. Y'all got any time fitness here? We got two locations. Got two locations. One wasn't enough. Uh, so you, if, if you want to go work out at 3 o'clock in the morning or 4 o'clock in the morning, you can. Why in the world anybody do that? I don't know. But any time fitness. You know what we need, folks? We need an anytime fitness for the soul. Oh, yes. Come on. Amen, amen. When something woke me up at 2.15 this morning, I didn't come in the auditorium and work out. <laughs> amen. I came in the auditorium and I prayed. Yes, sir. Hallelujah, folks. I've got to make sure that I save myself. Oh. I said, I've got to make sure that I save myself. Yes. Hallelujah. But we're under direct attack by the enemy. Amen. We're under direct attack by the enemy. You know, it seems like the enemy is coming in so many different directions. And what the devil does, what he is, what he is an expert at, is getting his nose under the tent flap. He's an expert of, of getting his nose under the tent. In that way, he can wreak havoc. Amen. For instance, how in the world we got to where we are today? I remember, and I wish this wasn't online or whatever, you know, but I remember when it was a shame and a disgrace for a guy to be fem feminine. Yes, sir. I remember when it was looked down on uh -huh. to 
and be a quitter. Yes, yeah, I said it. I sure did. Yes, sir. You may say what the Bible says? Sodomite. Yes, sir. That's what the Bible calls it. Sodomites. Yes, sir. Did you know there used to be a law on the books about sodomites? About sodomy? In our own state of Texas. But you see, the devil got his nose under the tent. Something started out so innocent. A television program years and years ago, back before I got the Holy Ghost, called Freeze Company. It was two single girls and a, and a guy that lived with them. And he acted limp-wristed. And their neighbor thought he always looked at him like. But you see, it was cute. It was cute to the conscience of the American people. And the show was a hit. And the devil got his nose under the tent because America gobbled it down. And now I understand that there's hardly a television program at all that doesn't have open homosexuality in it. That it's no bones. You know, there's no trying to sneak it in or hide it or, or facade it in any way. Folks, have we gotten to the place as a country and as a world that we have become accepted to something that is a disgrace and disgusting in the eyes of God? Something that is an abomination to God. And people have come to accept it. But according to what I know about the Word of God, the Word of God talks about that. Along with all the other things that's displeasing to God. And what does it say? It says they shall not inherit.
But you see, the devil is never satisfied. Come on. Come on. Yes, sir. You see, that, that wasn't good enough. Uh-huh. The, the devil's never satisfied. That's right. And so they got a piercing in their earlobe and, and was able to put a, a, little, a little diamond stud or whatever, probably mostly fake diamonds, a yeah. little stud in, in the ear or whatever. But you see, the devil was never satisfied, yes, right? Oh, right? Because then it ended up being two. Yeah. Uh-huh. And then it ended up being three. Uh-huh. And then it ended up being a, a tongue piercing. And a navel piercing. And a nose piercing. And an eyebrow piercing. Yeah. Because, see, the devil was never satisfied. No, sir. Just like he wasn't satisfied with Free's company. He's not satisfied until he completely takes over. He's not satisfied until he's able to destroy. And the Lord Jesus warned us about that when he said the thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy.
And you know then, you, you know then what I'm getting ready for? I'm getting ready for the Christ to come. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. But in the meantime, I gotta save myself yes. from on. all this stuff that is going on.
to read verse 40 to you out of the Amplified Bible. Where it says, and with many other words did he testify and exhort, saying, Save yourselves from this untoward generation. And Peter solemnly and earnestly witnessed, testified, and admonished, exhorted, with much more continuous speaking and warned. Reproved, advised, encouraged them, saying, Be saved All right. from this crooked, uh, perverse, yes, sir. wicked, unjust Jeez. generation. Jeez. If that doesn't describe the day that we live in, Our nation is full of crooked politicians. Yeah, I said it, devil. Our nation is full of crooked politicians. Amen. That'll lie like a dog to get your vote. Amen. Yes, sir. And pass laws on us that they don't even pass on themselves. Uh -huh. That they don't have to adhere to. Yeah. That's right. Because you see, they don't, they don't think they were elected as public servants. They have become kings. Uh -huh. Amen. It is a wicked and perverse and crooked okay. generation. And we had one man that was elected that called it out. And what did they do? They used every day, 24 hours a day, trying to destroy him. 24 hours a day trying to destroy him. I know you're not supposed to get political in the pulpit, but folks, this is what we're living in. This is the day that we're living in. Amen. And now, <laughs> you know, our current leader and listening and listening to the doctor, yeah. listening to the doctor that is that is as crooked as he can be, yeah. saying that kids five to twelve years old got to have a vaccination. And they're not even the ones that's been sick. You think it's not crooked, folks? I'm going to tell you something tonight. We're headed. We are headed to the coming of the Lord. Yes, sir. Jesus' name. That's the only good thing about this. Yes, sir. We are headed to the coming of the Lord. And you know what the most important thing is? I've got to save myself. Yes. I said, I've got to save myself, regardless of whatever else takes place. Amen. I'm going to try to vote right, and I'm going to try to put the right people in office, but still we're headed toward the coming of the Lord. Yes, sir. In Jesus' name, thank you. And we're headed headlong to the Antichrist. Uh-huh. Here we are. You know why the Antichrist can come in and take over? Because people have been so accepting of everything else. Amen. And he's going to have enticing words. And he's going to come in with the answers. And it's all going to look so good and so logical. And people are going to buy it hook, line, and sinker. Yes, sir. My Lord. Lord Jesus. Right. Amen. I've got to save myself. Oh, yes. Yeah. Why don't you say that right now? I've got to say, come on, I've got to say, I've got to say, Jesus. Because 
when it all comes down to it, there's nothing more important. I've got to save myself from this untoward generation. Amen. Why don't we stand together right now and just, why don't we just tell the Lord God, there's nothing more important tonight than me saving myself from this untoward generation. Lord, my hope is not in this world. My hope is not in this world. The Apostle Paul said, if in this world only we have hope, we are all men most miserable. Amen. Jesus. And I can't put my hope and trust in the things of this world. I can't put my trust in government. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. The only thing that I can put my trust in is in God and His Word. Amen. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Amen. I've got to save myself from this unborn generation. Praise God. Help me tonight, Lord. My Lord and my God. Help me tonight, Lord. Help me tonight. You got family that needs to be saved. Amen. You got family that needs to be saved. I've got family that needs to be saved. Yes, sir. Amen. But if I don't save myself, oh come on, Jesus. How in the world can I save them if I don't save myself? Yes, that's right. I'm going to do all I can. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. Jesus' name. Let's love the Lord tonight. Thank you for his love toward us. Almighty God, I love you. I love you. Praise God. Lord, I love you tonight. I love you tonight, Jesus. I love you tonight, Jesus. Lord, I bless your name. I bless your name. I bless your name. I exalt you tonight, God. I, I exalt you, you tonight. I love you. Lord, I've got to save myself. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. From everything that's going on, God, I've got to save myself. In Jesus. Bless the name of the Lord. Bless the name of the Lord. Bless your people, God, tonight. Bless your people, God, tonight. Jesus. blessed tonight folks that, that you've got a pastor that uh, that does not uh, wishy washy all right yes sir right. thank you amen. Amen. amen amen yes sir thank you you know I, I mean I know people have a tendency to look at the crowd and all that kind of stuff Noah saved his family yes sir that's it that's out of all the people that could have been saved in Noah's day, uh -huh. and you think about it, out of all the people in Ab Abilene that could be saved, Jeez. I'm sorry, folks, most of them are going to hell. Yes, I don't say that with any kind of joy whatsoever. No, sir. Amen. It's Jeez. just the way things are. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. Jeez. I've got to save myself. Amen. Yes, come on. Amen. I've got to save Jesus myself. Jesus name. Hallelujah. Jesus. Amen. Thank you for coming to the house of the Lord. Uh, whatever your announcements are, it looks like it looks like Tuesday night service at seven thirty. Amen. It's on the calendar. I don't know what else, but uh, praise God. Praise God. It's been good to be with you today.